I uh, I, I called uh, many hours ago. Can you open the door, please? Why? Do you want to talk to us? About what? Say again? About what? You called us. Yeah, I know. You don't... Uh, it doesn't seem like anybody um, informed you about what's going on. Yeah, the, the detectives are supposed to get back to me. Okay, so you don't need us then? Thank you. Uh, well, it was noon. It was uh, 11 a.m., I think. So, SFPD, it's uh, like 11.30 p.m. now. Uh, housing supporting, again, THC. Uh, the troublemakers, there was a, uh, you know, one of these fake inspections. Is this the one from today? Well, they're all the same as from August 2nd, but uh, today's September 8th, 2017. And uh, it's, uh, it's nerve wracking to, uh, to have the cops show up uh, this late uh, with, um, you know, no apparent, uh, no apparent reason and all that stuff. Uh, let me get a date and time check. <clears throat> Um, you know, cops have like unlimited power. They could kill me right now. Uh, it's 11-11. It's September 8th, uh, 2017, Friday. Uh, it's, uh, winds 36 miles an hour. Uh, today it was uh, 59 degrees, uh, high 74, low 59. Uh, so you see it's uh, dark and cloudy out at night. This, uh, I think it's Buzz Aldrin on uh, Science Goes to the Movies. I think this is a first-run show on... KCSM, uh, even at uh, 11 p.m. at night, I think they run it. Science goes to the movies, lady. lady. But uh, let me try to get you uh, 60 2 24 7 French news. Here, tennis, South African, blah blah blah. I don't, you know, this is news time, so I can't believe uh, this is uh, the Winton Hotel, uh, 445 O'Farrell Street, San Francisco, California, 94102. It's 11 o'clock news. I don't know if you can see that. This goddamn thing's blasting noise at me. You know, it's a PBS stations uh, make you crank up the volume because they're so incompetent. Uh, they they can't uh, project volume at the same uh, volume all the other stations do. I've never been able to figure out what their problem is here. Ken Bastida. Some, some cop uh, was just uh, reported as... Uh, Corrupt or something. It was just in the news. Uh, uh, it's like yesterday's news or something. Uh, and this is uh, seven. This should be in the news also. This looks like a new commercial, so that'll probably mark the date and time also. All right. So I guess I'll cut this, and I gotta, I gotta hope the cops aren't still out there, uh, and they're not out here to, you know, cause me problems. You know, I was falsely kidnapped when I went to court uh, the last time about three and a half years ago uh, by the crazy judge and uh, uh, my uh, my evidence was stolen from me, uh, devices were stolen from me, cell phones, tablets, uh, memory cards, flash cards, uh, things like that and uh, you know there's no accounting for it, they make you disappear in the world and if they say nothing happened then there's no footage, there's no video, there's no nothing uh, you know, you can be terrorized by these people, and again, you know, nothing stops them from killing you. I don't know if you saw that Ray Liotta in that movie. Uh, uh, God, I can't even remember, with Kurt Russell and uh, Madeline Stowe. Unlawful entry. Uh, that's still going on. It doesn't look like they're accountable to their uh, their uh, recorded devices, the, uh, the so-called body cameras and all that stuff. The police station's only a couple of blocks from here. It took them 12 hours to get here. Uh, I needed uh, them, you know, to protect me from the uh, landlord thugs and, and the degenerates who showed up at my door today who have always been hostile and, uh, you know, they, they react with your, uh, you know, interest and just, uh, you know, queries, honest queries about what's going on and what, what the procedures are and what the, you know, what the evidence is and how they go about their decisions. And again, I've, 
I contacted everybody in San Francisco here, uh, you know, a couple of blocks from the Hilton, uh, I'm sorry, half a block, and a couple of blocks from Union Square, we're at 445 O'Farrell Street, uh, right in the middle of everything, a couple of blocks from Diane Feinstein's office, uh, uh, contacted Nancy Pelosi in the past, they don't get back to you, you know, all these people feel they're above you, they find out you're a veteran, you know, can't be a lot of votes from veterans because they make sure uh, everybody doesn't do, uh, you know, service for their country, unlike Germany, I read Schwarzenegger's biography, of course he was the governor of California a little while back, and they should force uh, all males to, you know, go through military service so everybody knows what it feels like and everybody's behind veterans and we have a stronger voting bloc because all the females if you're a straight white male in san francisco nobody's on your side uh every all the elected people appear to be you know politicians or uh you know not straight uh or uh not caucasian and therefore like uh you're worth nothing to them especially as a veteran why don't you just kill yourself like the 22 veterans per day they seem to be saying through their uh astounding inaction or showing up 12 hours, you know, too late, uh, thinking it's fine. Um, and, you know, nobody, nobody seems to be educating the police, uh, teaching them the proper procedures, guiding them. There's no guidance. There's no, uh, there's no providence. There's nothing. All right, I'll cut this for now.